What's up guys, Sammy D here, and welcome back to Techno Magicraft Season 1, Episode 4. Uh, today, well, for, I've been doing some work off camera, and as you can see, I'm not using Yax yeah, Cast Complete any, or the, uh, um, Sfax Texture Pack anymore. I do like it, but uh, I like um sore text better now in terms of goals today is i want to make some power generation t-con tinker's construct tools maybe farming i'm gonna try to do some scanning from farmcraft but the first thing i want to do is start making power now i do though first off i want to show you what i did off camera we're just going to bat form just to get over there for quick sake for quick reasons um I upgraded our blood altar to tier 3. I just did that off camera. And there's a spider here. I also added some blood runes. Um, just to make this quicker. It's They're actually quite easy to make. These ones I accidentally made by accident. Uh... I'll show you that, and make that in a different episode. And one more thing I also want to show you that I've done outside of Minecraft, and you'll understand why in a later video. I'm still working on it, but in a later video, you'll see what I'm talking about. If I just, if you may have seen, I changed my skin. Um, <clears throat> me take off the my armor and hat um uh <clears throat> done none done there we go it's like a, I guess a soldier um now if you've ever played the game battle nations you'll probably recognize it but if you haven't I'll explain why I've done this in a later video, but let's put our armor back on and get to work. Um, no, not hat. Um, the button is that one. So, uh, I also did some exploring off camera. Uh, down here, just like. We might raid this once we're much more geared up. Um, there we go. First thing, the first thing we must do is a fish trap. But we'll put this down later. But what this is going to do is every so often it will generate fish for no power and for free. And other stuff like enchanted books and maybe gold. I'm not exactly sure. But we're going to pump that down into a room down here where it will do two things first thing is the fish will go into a electric or uh, redstone furnace right here so let's put that down so the input will be on blue um and then the output will be on orange where we'll have a culinary generator up here and then well, when it gets food it will create power now the power needs to go into here now we're gonna start just a little bit of power with a piece of steak um, produce 80 RF for a few seconds put it, and quickly fill this up now you see this doesn't need that much power. Uh, therefore, when the fish gets in here, this will um, pump the fish into there, the cooked fish, and we'll go back up there. Um, now, we also need two things that I haven't made quite yet. Um, I don't have the best FPS in here. Um, oh, I also 
Maze of Oklahoma City, and I forget if I did that <laughs> in the last episode or not, or whatever. Um, but what we need is, we need two things. First thing is, if I can find some wood, we need a, a chest to hold the output, because this will produce a lot. Um... <clears throat> hmm. But not. No, we're not done yet. We're going to upgrade this. Oh. Um. Uh, wrong button. I keep hitting Control instead of Shift. One more. And uh, voila! An iron chest. But we're not done yet. We're gonna upgrade it into a gold chest. You can see I put all my. The ingots I have stacked up in there. And... Gold chest, but of course we're not done yet. We need to cook up some glass. Of course there's one, always one thing I forgot. <coughs> that happens a lot. I'm not sure if I showed this, basically... There's an ore node right there. With a piece of incense gravel can't fall through an ore node. You can see where the ore node is. Um, I put some slopes up there. I'm not done with this pathway yet. Six. Perfect. Um, yeah, I really gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that secret entrance to work. Um, I currently been only able to get into an any either go in or go out. But luckily, we don't need coal anymore. Let me just put that in there. And, uh, eat some steak. Uh, let's see. We also need two diamonds. This is two diamonds. Where are the diamonds? Um, diamonds. Here we go. And, there. So, that's going to cook up. So, what can... Let's look at this. Um, so, working on this, let's make up a tool. Actually, let's work on getting some steel in the smeltery. I finished it, and when going exploring, I found some grout in the chest, and I cooked that up, so it was even bigger. Um, we need manganese. Manganese. It's in one of these chests. Okay, so let's do six of that and six iron. Oh. There we go. Six iron. <laughs> um yeah, it's kinda big. Not really that big though. And we'll put that in there. It's gonna cook up, and they're, they'll combine together into steel. Uh, that's gonna be our armory, by the way. If you haven't already guessed, or blacksmith shop, or whatever. Um, glass is cooked up. Glass, glass, and actually, look at that. We need more glass. That's fine. Um, so, the, I want to explain, like, where I plan on going with this series. Uh, I plan on, well, as I said, I'm going to do magic first, and I've been keeping up with, pretty much keeping up with that. I am doing power right now, but it's fine. Um, and it's, I guess, not really magic, but we're going to get into Thomcraft have soon uh, because Slamcraft is automated mining and stuff and it is forbidden magic and who does not doesn't love forbidden magic because it's forbidden so it makes me want to do it even more <clears throat> so this is going to go there it's gonna be the output chest um, actually I think we're gonna need more than Two sands is fine. It's getting nighttime so we can sleep soon. Um, but 
then after that, I want to go into tech. Um, specifically, I want to go or try and work with tech as we work with magic. But um, I want to get in the first technical thing I want to do is I want to build a sorting system, specifically applied logistics. We might do a logistics pipe sorting system first, or I might just go straight to applied logistics. Depends on um, what comes, what um, I feel like doing. Um, now, in terms of blood magic, we're going to go pretty far in that. We're going to get really teared up. But it, the final thing I want to do in the series, my end goal um, item or whatever, is I want to have a museum hosting some rare but expensive things like I want to have um, armor stands go leading into it with uh, all these different armors from it like the blood armor um, <coughs> a full suit of thamium armor and all that kind of stuff um, and I, th I think that will just be very uh, cool and I'm still kind of working on the basics I might gotta begin working on a model of it in creative mode um, but we actually are going to need a fish um, uh, because we need to filter this um, saying to whitelist fish and only fish but fishing is fun I mean just gotta sit back and help the fit they bite um and if they don't well since we can't actually see them we can't punish them for not biting which is not a behavior you usually um punish someone for you usually punish them for biting but I, I don't know I guess we you want fish to bite with the hook oh damn it um yeah fishing yeah you fish okay now let's just go back down to bat form um and fly to the sun. Now we, we're going to fly the opposite direction. Um, and we're going to go on here. Whitelist fish. Okay, so only fish can go into there. Um, then let's see here. Um, you know we do need a wrench that probably be a good thing to carry with us you know we probably can get rid of some of these because they don't actually require have durability um yeah they're pretty much infinite mm -hmm. let's see it uh okay we have round i think we'll use round robin um We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also going to put a torch down here just so nothing bad spawns. There we go. And now we're not going to do that. We are going to... Oh, I know we have to do that, but we're going to do that. Take out the pneumatic servo and the fish trap. And we're going to... That there. And... Uh, Ignored. So that's pulling out of there. Just want to see. Can I right-click on this? Okay. So eventually this will get stuff. 
And that, um, we'll check back on that later. But now we have one last piece we need to hook up. Ouch. Um, it might get kind of annoying. Just a theory, not necessarily. But most likely. And we're going to run this up here. We're going to put a leadstone energy cell right here. Oh, this is the frame. Okay. I thought it was too easy. No, actually, I haven't crafted one of these for some time, so I don't damn remember. Well, I understand how I crafted it. Three. Actually, I think I crafted one of these in agrarian skies. I just don't have a good memory. <laughs> um. Hey. Goes there. Copper. Uh, is it like this? Did we make the right thing? No, we did not. Okay, uh, we need Electrum, which we'll have to do in the snow tree. I was out of this. Um, we need one piece of gold and one piece of silver. This steel should be done. Okay, it's done, but actually, I don't want to risk the, well, I don't want to risk it mixing, uh, so we'll use our steel crusher. There we go. This is fast, and it is very fast. So go dust, and the silver dust. When it's done, we'll give us some uh, electrum dust. Then combine together, of course. Electrum. Now we're going to need this back. <clears throat> and this will smelt. Yeah, um. So, another thing. Just want to look at the mods. Um. Well, something, I'm not completely sure. I saw it out when I'm exploring, it was like a, a door. Um, I don't exactly know what it is. I think, I think we'll have to go uh, check it out. Um, another video, of course, not today. Uh, preferably when we have a non-cheaty way of flight and it we're armored up, because I, I, I'm really am not sure what it was like it just seemed like I've been there before but at the same time it just seemed weird I don't know I'll we'll check it out and another time figuration bottom is, is output input so now we are gaining power so let's just Dig out an area. Do this. I just I don't want also want to check the chest. Nothing yet. Okay. Well uh bat is here. Well we can go into the clipboard and can officially be done with power generator. Uh, I do want to just check out here. Okay, good. I've been I grew some essence crops because I think in the next episode we're gonna get into uh, the magical crops. As long as we get our seeds back. Uh, basically, I just went out. And I broke plants. So I think let us go and start making our tinker's tools. I think the tool forge we don't need 
right away, but the, uh, I do want a sword, a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel. Uh, and there's actually one sword I have in mind that you may know what it is, you might not know what it is. Um, but I'm going to need wood stencils here, and did I take any netherrack with home with me? Fortunately, I did not. Well, that's fine. Portals just in here. Uh, that's just going to uh, that. This out. Bit laggy. But we're headed off back to hell. The worst place in Minecraft. Um, in terms of lag, maybe. Um, I guess it probably wouldn't be the worst place. There probably are actually worse places in Minecraft. It, it, especially in modded Minecraft. Like, I don't know, um, the Moo Moo Dimension or whatever, or, or, no, um, the Deep Dark. I, I, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Don't go with me. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Let me out, let me out, let me out. Ugh. God, that was annoying. Oh. I really hope I don't have to do that again. But, now we have another rack. Because, one aspect I like to put on my Tinker's Tools is stone bound. Uh, especially on the because it gives, um, but to do that, there's a few items I can get, and that's Illuminite, uh, actually, well, uh, no, I'll save the Illuminite for later, uh, Steel, or no, not Illuminite, there's another thing, but Steel is, I think, I forget what is the mining level of Steel is, but, I did just realize I don't, uh, I need some aluminum brass. So hopefully, hopefully, it does not, um, give us something we don't want. Um, so if we have six of that, then we need... Um, we're not gonna use. Yeah, not gonna use this. Um, we first just need to find my aluminum, which is in ore form. Um, unfortunately, where oh where is my aluminum? It's also not called aluminum. It's called bauxite. Um, four. Uh, and then we need eight copper. Two, three. Four. Yep. Um, and this should give us aluminum brass. Now I'm really really hoping this doesn't mix with the steel to give us something we don't want um but we do need to make some stencils the first one is a tool rod you'd think i would plan that i didn't um in the first uh and we're going to make a few of these to be exact. We're also going to need some cactus. Unfortunately, I'm one short. So we'll let that grow. Uh, the cactus I want for a full guard. Then, 
So, molten aluminum, molten steel, molten copper. Okay, good, it didn't mix. And we have eight aluminum brass. So now I'm gonna grab some cobblestone, and what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, some cobblestone. Just a phone call from an unwanted state to me. Basically, I get called by states all the time. I have no idea why they want to bother me. It's like... It's not like... Uh, Steam's bothering me now, too. I don't know. It's... <laughs> hey, um... Now in the sensor table, we already have a pickaxe head, we need a shovel, and an axe, and there's one more, and if I can find it, here we go, the tool binding, so, Well, since we can, let's give the pickaxe writable, which requires sugarcane. Now, I've been harvesting some sugarcane, so we should have some somewhere. Where, I do not know, but I have a pretty good idea that it's in one of these chests, because that's where everything tends to be. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like it wants to be made. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, like, is it gonna be, why is it gonna be so hard to find it? Paper. And, uh, yep. You know, so, paper. Tool binding. Paper binding. Um. And now, uh, I guess we need to make, I'm going to put some cobblestone here, big X, shovel, axe, and sword blade, basically I'm just going to switch these out. Make sure the aluminum brass is on the bottom. Yes, it is. And this will make a pattern. Sword blade. There. Mm -hmm. Basically, this pattern, or this is a cast, because what you can't do is pour molten liquid molten liquid into a uh, into wood because that just doesn't make sense why would you pour molten liquid into a into wood it would just burn up so let's put the steel on the bottom and we're gonna make some steel tools tools um Put those in there. <clears throat> and a shovel. Okay. Now, is that last piece of cactus grown? I may have to wait for some time on that. Let's make, um, so, the pickaxe, steel, uh, that, that. So, stone bound, mining level of cobalt, uh, mining speed of 8, durability 900. <laughs> good pick. Uh, the axe, I guess, we'll do now. Next. Axe. 
shovel. Close the window. Why it is it is just looks different than all the other tools. Okay. Now we're just waiting for our sword. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're making a sword, a secret sword, basically, because you don't you need to find the pattern, one of the patterns for it, in uh, in uh, I I can't remember. Oh, I remember it. In, uh, villages. Uh, we'll, oh, I'll put the hoe on a shelf. Yeah, you need to find the pattern for it in villages. Oh, mm, thamium hoe. I want to enchant my thamium tools, that's why I'm not using it. I do actually have an enchantment table. Um, I haven't actually... F so, I'm going to see... Let actually... Let's just, we're going to start modifying the tools so the first thing is I want to put some fortune on my pickaxe um, and so tool station and I'm gonna you know what we should probably put a crafting table in here so I'm gonna go get some wood for that because well if you want to put three manually put four stacks of uh, lapis on a tool that you can only do one at a time go ahead I'm not stopping you but I'm not I, I'm not gonna do that I have there's ways around it I use those and those ways are you can use blocks and I'll tell you what I'd rather much do it by blocks unfortunately it wants to be difficult I'm gonna do one stack at a time so, um, and this is going to be much much faster um, Now we're putting ten on at a time, or now nine on at a time, but still. Um, once we get past a hundred, we should have fortune one. On, we're going to continue going up. Now this will make it once we find more lapis. Um, we get more, basically, and we're not. We're still have. We're about halfway there. But we have a great pickaxe. Uh, it's getting great. And a shovel. I want to put some redstone. But you know, I'm going to modify the tools more off camera. Um, let's see. Let's look at this. Uh, we almost. We have a sword as a tool. Uh, while we wait, I'm going to just show you how I'm, you do scanning. Because I think I'm probably going to do some thumbcraft in the next episode. But. I already scanned that. Nothing can be learned. F fitted quarry stone. So basically, you just hold right click until you. Um, it says something in the corner. Um, <clears throat> now, let's see. so this is. What I'm going to be doing until that cactus grows. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, and I got the third cactus. Um, it's still a bit laggy. And we're going to put this in here. We're not going to make a cactus sword blade. We're going to make a cactus full guard. There we go. Got jagged. And... Um, I think, I think we can make our sword. Let's do the broadsword. Uh, and we need to put in the steel, netherrack, and the cactus. We got a cutlass. 
with Stonebound and Jagged. Now, I don't think we need the Stonebound, but if I hold uh, Shift and see it's made out of steel, hold Control, um, you'll see the effects of each thing, yes. So we have our Cutlass. Yeah, I did have to re-log, re uh, re restart, because um, I was getting kind of laggy, and I crashed. I think I actually crashed when I exited out. Um, but yeah, we got our sword. Um, so we finished Tinker's Tools. I think we're actually out of time. So I'm going to do some scanning off camera. I think I might build the basics of Thomcraft. Um, and I'll show you what I did. It's actually a very simple thing. Um, and I'm going to be doing some scanning. So we can actually do some research. Now, uh, yeah, um, and I'll show you what the research mechanic is. But the thing is, there's a lot of stuff we can scan in here. Like this is going to have a lot of aspects. It's just going to be all types of aspects we can get out of our base. So, uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section below. If you have any, if you like this video, please leave a rating. That'd be greatly appreciated. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>